I haven't posted many videos here for a while. I uh, I did post one up, short one last night. Me being a cheeky ass to uh, one of my buddies there was harassing me about this thing. But anyways, I uh, built this beaver tail flatbed. Did a couple regular flatbeds too. I just never bothered to film them. Um, been doing a lot of a lot of flatbeds lately between the rollbacks and whatever else. But uh, anyway, I did this beaver tail. <clears throat> Didn't have a buyer lined up for it or anything. I just wanted it was something that I wanted to do myself. I uh, haven't seen too many other people building these, so I thought I'd give it a whirl. You know, it um, turned out pretty damn good, actually, I think. Yeah. Ramps fold down. They're not powered, but if you watch the other video, you can see, like, with my brooder excavator conversion, I just pick the ramps up with a bucket and uh, knock them back down with a bucket or whatever. Works pretty good. So. Anyways, I was excited to finish this thing up. It's a lot of work, believe it or not. There's a lot of uh, a lot of machining and welding. I have almost two days just in the beaver tail itself here, and the ramps. So by the time you machine all these square stock pieces there, so that they have a flat on them, and then keep everything square, weld it all together, grind it, file it, whatever. And uh, of course, build the hinges and the plate there, and then weld that on all these ones as well. Yeah, like I say, it turned into a fairly big job. So yeah, but anyway, but I think the finished product looks really good. I ended up putting some some bars in here that you could probably hang some cinches on, stuff like that. This is a a clamp-on bed that just pinches the frame rails, so there's only actually four bolts that hold this on. You don't need to drill any holes or anything like that. Same thing with the flatbeds. Um, they're the same design underneath. Use all the same parts really. It's just finished different on top. So, But um, yeah, anyway, the other flatbed that I did was an inch shorter than this one and it was red. It looked really cool too. Otherwise it's pretty much the same. Uh, this fellow's buying, the, the fellow that bought these is buying both actually. He decided he was going to buy a rollback and then changed his mind, like this beaver tail, thought it was cool. So so he went with that and then he's taking the standard ground hauler flatbed and then uh, these other accessories here. Unfortunately, I'm a dipshit and uh, I forgot to take the one vi the sun visor in to have it powder coated black, but he has his own powder coating setup, so he'll be able to take care of it. So it's not a huge deal, it's just disappointing to me because it's nice to have all the parts finished up and see what they look like. But uh, Ronnie did an awesome job on the powder coat. You can see how smooth that shit is. Looks good. So, anyway, I'm a very happy guy as far as this stuff concerned. Um, got a couple rollbacks for sale as well. If anybody's looking for one of those, want to build a tow truck type thing, ramp truck, hit me up. They're sitting over there. One's done in black. One's not powder coated yet, so it could be a different color. But um, yeah, anyway, that's what I've been up to. I actually bought a grand hauler kit here a while ago, well, about three months ago now, I guess two, three months ago. So um, I'm going to start putting that together and and uh, I'm going to mount one of the, one of the, the prototype rollback on that and then uh, have the other two for sale. So anyway, if I wasn't keeping that, I would have kept this beaver tail. So it's cool. I like it. Anyway, that's enough bullshit. Thanks for following along here. And uh, hopefully I'll be posting some more stuff soon now that I'm back in the groove. Take it easy.